All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Pain Point webinar series. My name is Jesse Devine, and I'm the Community Engagement Manager at QuoteWorks. Our goal is to dive into common business challenges that companies face when creating quotes and proposals, and today's topic is losing valuable time processing routine customer reorders. We know your time is valuable, so web our webinars are going to be fairly short. We'll keep them under 30 minutes, and today we should be able to do that, no problem. Um, and we want you to be able to apply these solutions right away, and we want these webinars to really be as quick and efficient as what your quoting process is or will be. So with every webinar, we will be going over an agenda. Um, and in this agenda, we'll be covering some of the pain points that you're facing when it comes to uh, quotes and proposals, the solutions. Then I'll do a live demo, and at the end, we'll have a Q&A session. I also want to encourage you guys to ask any questions in the question box. I will circle back to them at the end of the webinar, and if for some reason I'm not able to get to the question, um, I'll always follow up with an email or a call, as those of you have experienced it in the past. Um, and additionally, all of our webinars are recorded, so we'll send you a link of the webinar once it's been uploaded to our YouTube page um, and our web website. And if you haven't done so already, definitely subscribe to our YouTube page um, so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. And we also have a lot of helpful information on our social media sites, so we want you to be able to follow us there. All right. So today's quick webinar, we're going to be covering the pain point of losing valuable time processing routine customer reorders. Your customers probably reorder items regularly, but it might be for a low dollar items, and it takes way too long to create a quote, send it out, call, email, then process the order, especially for things that don't make you very much money. We don't want to take up too much time doing all of those things, maybe just like a toner or a laptop, accessories, or whatever it may be. Maybe perhaps you send the same quote over and over and over to multiple different customers, and it's taking time to make those quotes. Um, you might have a special promotion that you want to share with your customers, but you don't have a good way of sharing that information um, to closing the sale faster, and you don't want to have to create create a special quote for each and every contact. Um, so maybe you also want to be able to offer items to your customers or potential customers without having to create a quote. These are all very common pain points that we see. So how can we alleviate some of these pain points? The Quote Ballet Shopping Cart is a really great solution for these mentioned pain points. Um, the Quote Ballet Shopping Cart feature enables you to create online order forms for customers. You can create a single or multiple order forms that can be used to automate customer reorders or receive paid orders from a promotional email blast. The Quote Ballet Shopping Cart is something that's included in Quote Ballet, your Quote Ballet subscription already, so many of you already have this and maybe didn't even know about it. Um, so if you have Cool Ballet, it's available to you right now. If you don't have Cool Ballet, we do offer, you know, a free trial where you can test it out for 30 days, see if it's something that you'd be interested in. Um, it, simply email me or sales at quoteworks.com and we can get you set up with that. So the general concept behind the Quote Ballet shopping cart is that you can define an order form template that can be used over and over and over by different customers. And when the website visitor comes to the order form and clicks on it or clicks the order button, a normal Quote Ballet document is going to be created for you, which is really nice. So they are pretty much creating their own quote, submitting the information, and you're getting that. So you create the form. You can create the form for one specific customer with their information in it, but you can also make it very generic so that anybody has access to it if they have access to the link. Um, so the Quote Ballet Shopping Cart is a really great for many users, and you can, of course, use it however you wish. Um, some really great ways to use it. Oops. Some really great ways to use it is for a customer reorder portal. Um, so for those low-dollar reorders that your customer may, ha may have, um, you can create a special link for them so they can order these items at any time. Their link will be unique to them. You can do 
something for a special offer promotion. Um, an order form, you can add and set expiration date for a limited time special um, discount on an item. You can send an email blast to your customers pointing to this specific order form. You can also make it a website shopping cart. Um, in addition to having you know, a microsite or portal for specific customers, you can have you can have anonymous people browse a selection of products. You can use the shopping cart in that way too. And that way, if people come across your site, they can order those items from you and it enables you to create an online presence with a subset of products that you sell. And I do want to note, it's not a full e-commerce store and prices are not auto-updated. You do have to update them yourself. So I'll talk about that a little bit further as we do the live demonstration. So let's get set up with that. One moment here. All right, so let's go ahead and make our first order form. So the, let's just create something that can be used generically by anyone. That's where we'll start. So I'll start with some headers. I'm going to make something that customers reorder pretty regularly, which today I'm going to be using the example of accessories and laptops. So I let's add some products to my quote. Go to the products button here. You can also go to the products button up here. I have some utilized favorites that I've saved and I'm going to add two laptops to it. And so I'm going to find a Dell PC or laptop. DNH has the best price. Let's see what some of the other distributors may have. All right, so DNH has the best price, has great stock. I'm going to add this to my quote. All right, another quote. I want to add another laptop to this quote. All right, let's add that. Just for that. All right. We're sticking with DNH for now. Let's just add that to my quote. All right, my laptops are good. I also have some favorites that I can add since I know that's so many people purchase regularly. So I'm going to add these two accessories to my quote, or my order form is what I should say. So we'll type here the has the best price. Let's add that to my accessories. And I'm also going to do wireless mouse to go with my laptop because that is ordered regularly as well. All right, so I've added my items to the quote or the order form is what I really should be saying, which will eventually turn into a quote. And I want to send this to my, a, a generic link to my customers so that they have the ability to order from this form if whenever they so choose. Um, so in order to do that, I want to make sure that these are all optional and that they can change the quantity on them so they can control what they're going to actually purchase. So I'm going to make this optional. And I want them to have the ability to change quantity because sometimes if they might order five or more or however many they wish. All right. So my quote is ready. I can set an expiration date if I want to. And you can really set this up just as you would a regular quote as you usually would. But instead of just emailing it to them, we're going to do this. We're going to go to File, Save as Template. Again, File, Save as Template. And here we're going to be able to name it. So I'm going to call it Laptop Accessories. And then I'm also going to check this button that says Save Template as Quote Valley Order Form. So here we go. Checkbox. And now the order form is going to be created. Press OK. Now, anytime the order form is created and someone submits it, this is going to let this person know, whoever your users are, it's going to notify this person of the who owns the document. So I'm going to have it set to me. Press OK. And now my order form URL has been created. So this is the very link that you want to use, copy, and send to your customers. And I'm going to click it so we can take a look at it. All right. So you can see here my quote works. 
order form is ready to go. My laptops are optional. And all of my items are on here. If they wanted to add anything, all they had to do is check it, press update total, and there we go. Now here it's blank because they can anyone specific or anyone in general can actually access this link and they can place the order right here. Once they place the order, they can also make payment if you have added a payment option on there. You can also go into the drop down so it takes you to specific areas on the quote. And they can also, you know, type in a word and it will highlight it. So if you have hundreds of items for some reason, they can actually drill down and find those specific items on the quote or the order form. All right, so now we've made the order form. I do want to note, you see this link up here? Do not copy this link. This link is specific and changes every time um, per person. So you always want to use the link that was originally shown to you inside of your quote works document items window. That is where you, that is the link you want to use. Don't copy this link. All right, so let's say we go back to the order form and make it specific now to a user. So let's do that. So this can be changed. All you have to do is select the user from your CRM or PSA or whatever you're using. And then press save. Okay. And then the link again. You can send this link to a specific customer. So if your specific customer always orders a laptop and these accessories, you can send this to them specifically so that they have this information and they can place it anytime they wish. If they have special pricing, something like that, this is a great way to do that. So really easy to set up a very simple shopping cart for a customer or a generic link um, to you for whatever you wish. Now, let's say um, you wanted to do a special discount and use it as a promotion. And you know you have a new, you know, school start, school starting special, and you want to send a discount promotional email. You can certainly do that. So how you would do this? Let's start with a new quote here. You make sure it's a generic quote. I'm going to start with a section header and call it, you know. Summer special, and we're going to do, you know, a laptop that is just special, just for, you know, just for today. So, I'll find that same item again. Add to the quote. And we want to add a discount line item. And we'll do 20% you know, discount just for summer or something like that. All right, so now we can see the discount is ready to go. So this special is over at the end of the week, so we want to make sure that people are aware of that. File, again, save as template. We're going to Summer special. Check the box, save template as quote ballet order form. If you don't check anything, it's just going to create a regular template that you can use for the future over and over. Um, we do have another pain point webinar series on that, which discusses um, creating quotes that are similar over and over. Um, but this one is specific to um, reorders and things like that. Um, so, okay, so we've checked the checkbox order form, ready to go. And now we have this special link. Now if I click it, it's going to show the discount, and we're ready to go. All right, so if I wanted to email this to multiple different people, instead of copying that link, sending it one by one, what I could do is go to the deliver window. Make sure a layout selected, and then 
select email. Now I could send it to a specific person or I could do a mass email. I've created a special email. I have that link. Copy it and paste it and put it in there. Now, if I wanted to send a mass email, what I could do is select the users from a CRM, your CRM. You could you know, manual type it, manually type in many different recipients or pull in directly from your CRM or PSA. And then press send. This is going to send an email to all of those users as if it were individually sent. And it's a great way to send those discounts and specials just for your customers. And the Cold Valley Shopping Cart really does a great job of doing that. Now let's say somebody did actually submit um, an order. So let's go back here. Let's put that link again. I do want to show you what happens when somebody submits an order form. So let's just type in Joe Hops. Joe Hops. Now I'll just put in my email. And he wants to get this special and place the order right here. All right. So now he places the order. Now, if he wanted to make payment, he can click right here and make payment right away, which is really great. So let's say he did make payment with one of the options that you've given him. What happens when he submitted this order form is that the but you will also be able to see right inside of the quote ballet dashboard that the quote has been submitted. So all Joe has to do now is import or not Joe, the sales rep that's using quote works. All they have to do is import it and they'll have all that information. Joe's viewed the quote, he's accepted the quote already without you having to do anything. All you have to do is link it to your CRM or PSA if you have one, and process it as you normally would a regular quote. So really simple stuff right there, and that is really all you have to do with creating a Gold Valley shopping cart. So, one other thing I want to show you is where you manage them. Um, in the open window here, or open document window, there is a templates icon on the left-hand side. Here is where you would manage that. So if you want to revise your order form for any reason, if you want to update pricing, you would just simply go to is that. So really simple stuff. Um, so any questions now is a great time to submit it in the questions box. Um, and anybody that would like a trial of Quote Ballet Shopping Card, definitely let me know. Um, but before we end the webinar today, I do want to make sure that you are aware of all of our resources. Um, you know, we pride ourselves on having great support and great sales team. If you call us, we're going to pick up. So definitely feel free to call and ask questions if you have any at our support or sales line. If you go on our home page on the support tab, if you, you'll be able to see the helpful resources there. Um, we offer free trials. We have over 200 videos on our website, help documentation, live and recorded webinars, just like this one here. We offer professional services if you ever need customizations or training, and of course, phone and email support. So definitely feel free to reach out to us. Um, thanks again, everyone, for attending. Stick around for the Q&A, and I'm more than happy to answer your questions.